You knew about me and Andrew. Chill out, gorgeous. Just look at that ice on your wrist. I'm not gonna go back in there until you tell me what's going on. That's not up to you. I could ruin your reputation in a split second. What do you want? I run Orion's nightclub downtown, which is fun. Sure, but I want more. I want to be part of Orion Global itself, maybe even sit on the board. What does that have to do with me? You're my bargaining chip. I doubt that Andrew wants dear old Crystal to find out about you. Plus, I'm dying to know what you feel like. I heard the Kingston's a germaphobe when it comes to chicks, so someone that he's paid for. You must feel good. <sighs> I'd rather die than sleep with you. Listen, you little bitch. I can and I will tell Crystal that you're screwing her fiance. Good luck keeping a job then. I quit. You can't threaten me with this anymore. Get your hand off of me. <laughs> threaten you? I heard that orphans that grow up together become family, is that true? What are you saying? I also know that dear old Polly's a bartender at my club. I wonder how she'd feel if you both ended up jobless. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. I will. Caught red handed. You still act like you were in a frat house. No. <laughs> you know what they were doing in there? It's like Logan never graduated from college. Jesus. You know, I'm kind of jealous of them. I mean, even in college, you and I never had that kind of passion. You know, I'm a germaphobe. Let's eat. I lost my appetite. After this, Rosalind, you better get me on Orion Global's border. You are fucked. How do you want me to do that? You're a gold digger, right? Blackmail's part of the skill set. You got a week. Ms. Bell, uh, Mr. Kingston would like to speak to you. I don't have anything to say to him. Well, he would like to speak to you. And he has been waiting all night. I didn't know that you were that desperate. It's been what? Three days? and you already found a new sponsor? He's not a sponsor. We're in love. Okay, great. Have you slept together? Yeah, of course we have. And it wasn't for the money, Mr. Kingston, it was out of love. That's something you'll never understand. Say that again. I said I slept with Logan Taylor out of love. else and now you just won't let me go Logan is no better than a roach and to see him possess something that I once had is an insult to me if you can fall in love with someone like that, Ross, then you're worse than him. You don't, you don't even understand. 
get out. Get out of my car. You sicken me. Leave. Is everything ready? Yes, Mr. Kingston. The new bar manager, Logan Taylor, he's made sure that all the renovations are taken care of. Mr. Kingston, I've seen you on TV. Please help me. Please, I, I, I need I need to save a life. I need 350K. I, I'll do anything. I can pay you back. Please, I'll do anything. I, I can, can pay pull you her back. away if you like, Mr. Kingston. Please. I do have uh, disinfectant. Please, I'll do anything. Um, are you? Clean. I'm not sure. Are you clean? Yes, yes. I'm an orphan, but I've never done anything that would... And you're willing to do anything? Anything. Mr. Kingston, please. Take her inside. Someone, help! Ross. Teddy, stop following me. Teddy, just leave me alone for God's sake. I'm not leaving you. But you are. You're going to Europe to study. Why Europe? The MBA programs here are just as good. You know what I think? I think you're trying to get rid of me. Ross, watch out! I'm sorry, you're not his family. Uh, we don't have any family. Please, it's just, uh, all we have is each other. Look, he's suffering from a severe traumatic brain injury. We need to see proof of funds to operate. Proof of funds? How much? $350,000. I'm sorry. Teddy. Teddy didn't deserve you, Ross. You signed yourself away, and what did he do? Got adopted by that stupid, rich Baker family and erased us from his life forever. And he left us and left you with that son of a bitch, Andrew Kingston. He doesn't deserve you either. Teddy. Yes, true. Ross? Andrew. You're okay. There you are. Andrew. I want to see Andrew. Okay. Okay, I'll go call him. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. How's Roslyn? No. 
Rosling had a severe fever. We've got it under control, but for now. Polly, will you go get me some water? My throat's super dry. Yeah, okay, sure. You haven't been taking care of yourself, Rosalind. There's no easy way to put Just this. Just tell me how long. Three weeks. Maybe a month. That's enough for me. I really hope you'll reconsider. I'll be back to check on you. Superstar, how you feeling? Never better. Come sit. Oh, I have something for you. Here. Your birthday gift. I don't understand. This is a debit card, and my birthday isn't until the end of the year. It's all of my savings. I want you to have it. You're not dying, Ross. You, no. You're not dying. No, no, silly. I'm not dying. You've just been taking care of me since we were kids. I just, I just wanted to do something nice for you. 